Today on one of possibly the hottest days on record, I'm at this O2 Ericsson Beacon 2 pole, which is being upgraded as we speak. Let's start off our tour in the Lancaster cabinet. So these are the quadruplex at the top, which are 1800, 2300, 2600, 2100. Our DUW baseband there and the main uh, sight route effectively and then these are Ericsson ERS 2217s which are for 800 megahertz then we have a pair of baseband 6630s there which are for a whole load of so mainly for 2100 2300 and 800 the bottom here we have another set of radio 2217s which are for 2100 and then another set of radio 2217s which are also for 2100 and then there are quadruplexes there again. Inside this part there are radio 8808s which are for 2300. One radio does two sexes because it's an 88R radio and this is deploying a 44R configuration. And then the 900 is in the other cabinet. So this is inside the other cabinet. You can see the DUW there which does 3G 900 megahertz. Then there's an SIU there pair of DUG 2001s which are for 2G 900 megahertz and then these are the RUS 02 band 8 radios which are for the 2G 3G 900 megahertz as you can see there and there's some batteries there for back on. This is the outside of the RBS 6102 which carries the 900 megahertz for those curious. This site doesn't have 1800 MHz or 2600 MHz, which is why those ports are not connected on the quadruplexes. The site is now pretty much fully on air. You'll just about be able to see there, there's got some Vodafone L21, and then on here is O2's bound 40. So thanks to the Riggers engineering team for letting me be here. For those wondering about backhaul, I couldn't get a video in the cabinet when it was open, but I did get photos. The ONT which connects to the local fibre network is an ADVA FSP150CC, and then the access router is a Telabs 8605. This is all the equipment broken down onto one slide. On the top left is the RF schematic for this site and I will work through what the equipment all entails now. So the bottom left image shows the inside of the RBS 6102 which carries the 2G, 3G, 900MHz. At the upper left of the image is the DUW which is the 3G baseband for 900MHz and then the upper right section are two Ericsson DUGs which are the 2G basebands for 900 and then the radios which carry the 2G and 3G 900. There is also the SIU on roughly the lower left of the image which has all the RJ45s and fibre going into it. This is represented by the lower left part of the schematic, so the RUS02 and the DUG and DUW. The rest of the equipment is contained within the Lancaster cabinet which is a little bit busy. So on the left of the Lancaster, which is the lower image second from the left, at the top are quadruplexes, the same as with the third from the left image. So these are 1800, 2100, 2300, and 2600 quadruplexes. That means they take all those bands in one end and combine them all together into feeders out the other end. So you can have those four bands going into one feeder, which therefore means you can fit a lot of bands into smaller antennas which can then fit inside the shroud effectively. Towards the lower half of that image second from the left is another Ericsson DUW which is the 3G baseband for 2100 MHz and under that is another SIU. At the bottom of this left part of the Lancaster are three ERS2217s which carry the 800 MHz 4G. Then if we move to the remainder of the third image from the left at the lower level, so quadruplexes at the top, like I said before, and then underneath them are another three ERS2217s. 
these do 2100 megahertz and likewise the radios right at the bottom of this are also 2217s and they also do 2100 megahertz one set of those will do 3d 2100 megahertz alongside both of them doing 4g the baseband between these radios are 6630s which carry the 4g services so 800, 2100 and 2300 MHz and then that just leaves us the fourth image from the left which is the right part of the Lancaster in the side pod and this has ERS8808 which are ATAR 2300 MHz radios and these do 2300 MHz 44 R as far as the mast is concerned so one of the radios does two sectors of 44 R and the other one has four spare ports on it the quadruplexes have spare ports for 1800 MHz and 2600 MHz as I pointed out earlier in the video and the Lancaster also has spare space for extra radios as well. In a full capacity configuration for Vodafone and O2 this cabinet will have 1800 MHz radios in it as well as ones for 2600 MHz as well.